Lyle. This is a continuation of the, uh, the the video I made some time ago. This one in depth tutorial for 2D to 3D image conversion using GIMP and the 3D converter too. Yeah, uh, when I made that video, I was kind of uh, tired by the end of it, so I didn't really uh, fix up the mistakes I made. So in this video, I'm gonna show the mistakes. I uh, fixed and I fixed them basically so let's look at that so this is the game file okay so the first thing I did is when I uh, in the paths window dialog here I reordered all the paths from uh, foreground to background I think it helps otherwise it's kind of a mess so what I did is I fixed the boat so if I zoom I'm gonna try to show you exactly what I did yeah so uh, I think uh, I think I fixed this this area so let's look at the path. So there's one path here, which is the 211, this one. Uh, then you have this one, which is a 185. And I think I added one here to be at the same depth as the uh, or, uh, older. So there's one here also, you can see. There's one somewhere here, yeah. Yeah, so this one is the, the 146. And so all of this, same depth. Okay, so when you run the 3D converter too, what's going to happen is that it's going to be like a, like, a, like if you were doing a gradient. So from here all the way to there, a nice smooth gradient, which is exactly what you want. After that, I think I did the same thing Hold on, I think I did the same thing. I did the same thing from here to here. So if I look again at the paths, I, I, I put this one, I think, at 130. And I, this one, so 130, I would, all that zone goes from 130 to that one, which is a 110. So again, the 3D Converter 2 is going to put a nice linear gradient here in between those two paths. Uh, what else did I do? I think I fixed also... I think I fixed the arm as well. So for the arm, I, I think I shortened that path. This one, the 169, and it goes to... To this one which is a 150 so here again a you're gonna get a gradient to get the extension of the uh, the arm towards the uh, or I think I fixed the background as well somewhere hold on the background yeah yeah it was a bit uh, confused I didn't know what was in front of what so I think I uh, those bushes I can uh, use the edge, uh, the edge image to uh, isolate them from the tree and uh, here I used I use a path but I, I really didn't have to because the the depth here from the sparse depth map is going to propagate this depth from the the game path is the same as this depth so that's fine and I think what I did differently is that I, I isolated those holes and uh, I put game paths here to indicate that those holes are back are more in the background I don't know what value of. maybe I put zero in yeah so that's a zero all of them are zero and I think this one also is zero so it goes all the way to the background yeah uh, also about those game paths 
I wanted to uh, emphasize the fact that uh, unlike the Mac 4 and uh, the Mac 11 uh, the depths are going to propagate even if the colors are not similar so the only way for the depth not to propagate is that is if you have an edge image to block the propagation so uh, unlike the Mac 4 or the Mac 11 you don't have to be uh, worried about whether the depths are going to propagate uh, if the uh, if the colors are changing within an area uh, at a uniform depth, so I think it's much simpler to use the three D converter two than the other the other two, which are the Mac four and the Mac eleven. Okay, so that's just a little uh, aside there. So what else should I add? That was not very clear. Yes, yeah, so the the game paths again the name indicates the depth so uh, for example if the name is 2 2 11 here it means that the path is at the depth 211 uh, 255 is pure white and that's the the thing that's most in the foreground and zero 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 is pure black which is the thing that's most in the background so 177 it indicates that the depth is at 177 and uh, that's fixed the program will not change that when he runs and gets the uh, dense depth map uh, so what's cool about this is that if you make a mistake and you don't like at what depth you put uh, the game path all you have to do is rename the path that's all you have to do and you change the, the depth that way so if you don't like the path here being at 177 you change it and you, you rename it and you put 182 for instance so I think that's that's pretty cool because uh, it's very easy to change things around if the depth map that you get is not really what you wanted so I think that's that's pretty cool with the 3D converter to compare to DMAC4 and DMAC11 where you have to uh, uh, play around with the uh, sparse depth map uh, erase parts and re repaint uh, it can be uh, can be messy and tedious so 3D converter 2 I think it's a big plus here okay so now I'm in I'm into the depth player devplayer.ugocapital.com which you are which you are welcome to use to check your dense depth map produced by the 3d converter 2 so here i loaded my uh, content image the reference image and the dense depth map obtained by the 3d converter 2 and here it's very easy uh, i like to use point cloud before i create the model and what else uh, if your image is very large you may want to increase the dance something to three or four but you can always change anyway and recreate the model so here i did point, point cloud create model and i'm at two because the image is not that big so now you can check so as you can see now the boat is much much better uh, i think the arm looks okay uh, the other side same thing the boat is looks much better and base and uh, I think I put the the tree a little bit more forward and I also brought those bushes forward as well so I'm pretty happy with with the 3d scene and uh, I'm gonna call it a day on the on the creation of that dense depth map Another way to check your depth map, especially if you're gonna uh, upload your 3D photo to Facebook, is to just go into Facebook and uh, uh, load your content image and your depth map. 
which has to be renamed underscore depth. Uh, use, the, use your reference image and then you add underscore depth to the name. So control to load both of them at the same time. And uh, Facebook is re gonna recognize it as a 3D picture, hopefully. Yeah. What you do is that you, you can check it without actually creating the post. So you just okay, it's done. So you just uh, you know move your mouse around, check it, and uh, if it's if it's good enough, you post. If it's not good, you just cancel the whole thing, and you try again. It's that simple. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show that it's pretty easy to fix mistakes uh, with the 3D Converter 2. And, uh, you know, when things don't go your way, just stop what you're doing and, uh, you know, continue the next day and it's going to be much easier. Uh, that's what I did, but, you know, a week later. And uh, it took me like 5-10 minutes to fix the mistake I made the first time. So. Uh, it's no, it's no big deal if you make mistakes. All right, so I'll see you around for the next vi video pretty, uh, pretty soon. Bye bye.